Hello everybody. So do you think that a ketogenic diet can improve cognitive function? A brand new study that I found seems to indicate that it does. Lose weight, fight cancer, reduce inflammation, rejuvenate, subscribe below. Okay, so there's a study that apparently just came out in May that seems to indicate that a ketogenic diet experiment done with rats actually does increase cognitive function. So they had three groups of rats that they did this uh, test on. One was a ketogenic diet. One was fed exogenous ketones or ketones from an outside source, not made by their own body. And one was a control diet. What do you think happened? We keep saying that we feel like we have more cognitive ability that our cognition improves when we're on a ketogenic diet. When we're intermittent fasting and our ketones are in full force, when we're extended fasting, people say that they have enhanced cognitive ability. When we're eating a regular ketogenic diet, we say that we have increased energy and that we can think clearly and it doesn't seem to impair our overall ability to function on a day-to-day -day, even if we're in an extreme calorie deficit. Now the study comes out that says maybe that's true, right? We didn't have all of it was anecdotal before. And this isn't a test that was done on humans, so it's still somewhat anecdotal, but at least we can see that the things that we are experiencing and saying are beginning to be backed up by science. Uh, so what they did here is they took those three groups of rats and they subjected them to uh, typical tests that you do for cognitive ability. So one of them is a uh, memory test. It's called the Novel Object Recognition Test. And that tests rats' memories. And it's been pretty well documented and used. Uh, it's very well tested. So it's something that they use in a lot of rodent tests. Um, and it showed that the ketogenic fed rats did better with that. The exogenous rats the exogenous ketone rats, didn't seem to have any improvement over the control group. But the actual ketogenic rats, the ones that were creating ketones for themselves, the ones that were eating a ketogenic diet in order to achieve ketosis, did see some improvement in that area. Uh, then they did this water maze escape test. So this is known as the Morris Water Navigation Task or the Morris Water Maze. And it's used in rodent tests as well to see how drugs are affecting rats, to see how diets are affecting them, see how stress affects them. And this particular, it, what it does is they put rats in a pool of water and they have either a visible or an invisible platform that they're supposed to try to navigate to. And so them swimming around and looking for this ramp in order to get out of the water indicates how well they're functioning, uh, both physically and mentally. And so they measure this function utilizing escape latency, or that's what they call the delayed response or the delay until they can escape from the water onto this platform. And it showed that after just a couple days, the ketogenic rats, the ones that were being fed a ketogenic diet, actually had decreased um, escape latency. So they were getting out of the water faster. The exogenous ketone fed rats also had decreased escape latency. So they were getting better. They were better than the control group as well. But after a couple more days, the exogenous ketone group quit improving or had increased escape latency, which means that it took them longer to get out of the water. Whereas the ketogenic fed rats still had decreased escape latency over the exogenous ketone rats as well as the control group. We also saw in this study that there was increased metabolic activity in the brain of the ketogenic fed rats. So what we've seen with this study, and I'll put a link down below, is that the ketogenic diet is an improvement over, the, over a regular diet, a glucose-fed diet, for cognitive function, at least in rats. And it also is an improvement for stress-induced 
uh, cognitive failure because the when they applied stress to these rats over several days, they still showed an improvement over a regular diet. Uh, so a ketogenic diet is good for your cognitive function long term. It's good for your cognitive function under stressful circumstances, and it's good for your memory. Exogenous ketones seem to slightly improve a few of those functions, but not as well as actually being in a ketogenic state and creating your own ketones. And out of the three groups, it appears that the control group, the glucose-fed group, was absolutely the poorest performing out of the three in this experiment. That's not surprising to me. It's not surprising to me that your cognitive function, your memory, uh, is all better when you're in a ketogenic state because I've experienced that, right? We, if you've been ket uh, ketogenic before, you've experienced an increase in cognitive function as well. You feel like uh, you're taking it all in. You feel almost uh, like your brain is hyperactive at some point. It's, um, I don't want to say that it's like a high, but it just feels like you can be hyper-focused or in some cases, because your brain is working faster than the task that you're on, almost distracted. So if you're in a very, um, if you're operating a complex task, it seems like it's beneficial to the task because you can be hyper-focused and because you can be paying very good attention and your brain is working very rapidly. If you're doing something boring or something monotonous, it seems to me, or at least in my experience, that it can be distracting because your brain wants to move faster than the task that you're doing. So in that regard, if you're doing a complex task, it seems to me like it helps. If you're doing a monotonous task, maybe it's not so helpful uh, because your brain wants to race. Um, anyway, it is nice to have science backing it up. I, I do look at studies occasionally and when I find something interesting, I'm gonna share it with you guys. Uh, so subscribe below. Let me know if you have any questions. If you have any research, I like to do the research on this topic. So if you have any research that you're trying to do that maybe I can help with, um, let me know. But uh, if you're taking exogenous ketones, this does show that it, it does help uh, a little bit with cognitive function. Uh, but it seems like the best way to be in ketosis is to actually eat the food that puts you in ketosis, eat a moderate protein, high fat diet, drop the carbs, your brain is going to thank you for it later. All right, I'll see you next time.